Hello and welcome to Mr Ridley's Design and Technology. In this clip we're looking at some GCSE style questions in a learning check and this one is about wood joints. So the first question says in the space below draw a halving joint. Um, this is quite tricky we need to kind of start here draw one face if we try and draw it in a sort of isometric view um, then if we draw the other or the end of this here out the end of that out like that down we can just draw so there's our halving joint um, it's kind of say I think things like that really just practice drawing them and um, try and draw them quickly but neatly um, question two list two reasons to use a wood joint other than a butt joint so basically why would you use a wood joint like a mitre joint or something like that um, instead of a butt joint so uh, a would be um, increased strength um, com joint so increased strength compared to a butt joint oh let's see you're increasing the surface area of the two the two faces so you've got more glue you've got more joint so it's it's stronger um, B aesthetics uh, the joint will look better or nicer uh, simply you know for a piece of fine furniture or a piece of a cabinet or a drawer or a box if it's got a finger joint or something like that it just looks looks better so increase the strength it looks better look at the drawing of a wood, wood joint on the right so we've got a little drawing there um, you can just see that joint there um, this is a dowel joint these two pieces of wood here are dowels and they fit into two holes there so we would call this a dowel joint um, why would you make use of a jig when making this joint? So that's part B. This is the probably the most difficult bit. You can see there's three marks in this. So a jig is um, something that helps with repetitive tasks and or helps with accuracy. Um, obviously here and here we've got two holes that need drilling and they need to be the same on that side. So a block of metal here with two holes in it would be called a jig and that would allow you to drill the two holes accurately take the piece of metal over onto this and drill the two holes so that these holes the dowels line up with the holes opposite if that makes sense so a jig will ensure that the dowels and holes of the joint line up correctly. Um, I guess you could have said a, a jig would, would help um, by enabling you to do it quicker because technically if you took enough time you could make them accurate but it, it it's quickly and accurately okay so two marks for that uh, two marks two marks for that one a mark there and three for this is a little more difficult okay so that was um, wood joints GCSE style questions thank you for watching Mr Ridley's design and technology